I was absolutely cooking about an hour ago in my biology class, so hopefully this game continues to give me some good matchups. What's going on, y'all? In today's video, I'm going to be playing with probably one of the most low-skill Goblin Giant decks that I've seen to date. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the Crusher 21 clan has definitely been making a push, and this is one that's very popular in their clan. It's basically the exact same deck that I've been playing with, except instead of the Little Prince, they just subbed out the Little Prince for the minions. And I honestly think it's better because instead of having the Little Prince, you lose the 3-card cycle, but you have a lot more pressure that you can do with the minions. The Goblin Giant minions are really, really hard to defend if you don't have arrows in the deck or the right response at the right time, so... I've really been liking this deck, and we're currently, I think, just outside of top 2k, something like that, so... Should have some decent competition today. This guy's not too happy about me playing the lightning on his queen. And this should be a decent matchup. We're already going same lane, so unless he switches, our bowler's gonna get a lot of value this matchup. Oh, we predict the... We predict the pigs there. I didn't really mean to, I'll be honest with you guys, but we'll take that. This Goblin Giant, let's see what building he has. He has a cannon. Okay, that's really good for us. That's really, really good for us. Because Goblin Giant's just going to shred through that. Did he just lose? <laughs> that's a really good log from our opponent there. 10 out of 10. This is a top 2k gameplay for you guys. Wow. We will take that. Um, looks like he's not going to give up yet, but he's not going to win this game. There's no way, so... I will see you guys in the next match. Jumping into the next game here against Bylux is back. Let's see what he wants to do here. We don't have the best starting hand, so... Okay. <laughs> Recruits in the back. Nice. Classic. So... Hmm. This shouldn't be too bad, because we have Bowler next up. Uh, let's fish him and try and pull in that Firecracker. That would be... Oh, I don't think it locked on. Well, um, this is going to be an annoying matchup for sure. Firecracker and Recruits. That's not even going to activate King. Let's see. I hope Bowler, uh, I was going to say I hope Bowler dies. That way we could activate King, but that's all good. We also didn't get our Archers till now, so we're just now doing our first split to get to our Evos, which is not ideal, but it is what it is. Okay. We're going in. I don't have much else to do, I feel like. That's going to jump on tower, but then we can pull it off. Damn, he does have arrows, too. Okay. So, I think that we probably just lost. Well, not quite. We're still in this, you know? We're only down 200 damage. It's actually not as bad as I thought. But that is definitely not the ideal start. I knew Mega Knight was going to jump there. But I was kind of just gambling that I was going to be able to take his entire tower in one push, so. Thought I'd be able to pull it off with the fisherman and, you know, eat like a thousand damage or something. But if you're up an entire tower, that is definitely a good trade, so. But it is what it is. Did not work out. Um, uh, does this activate king? I'm not sure. That probably doesn't. Yeah. Okay, well. That just looks bad, but it is what it is. Let's go in over here. Rage as well. Let's just kill as much as the as much of these Evo recruits as we can before they even cross my bridge. Okay, we actually don't. Mm, we kind of do have to defend this one. Nah, no, we're not going to. If I do, I'm pretty sure I just lose. We can go goblins now on those. He goes for the zap, but that does not do anything. Okay, we can go Evo archers down here. We can eat a little bit of damage. I'm not too worried. Let's go goblin giant. Hmm. I'm gonna lightning. Yeah, we can definitely lightning on that. Lightning, and then we'll rage. And this is looking really good. That's gonna be a lot of damage. Not quite tower down, but we're gonna be right back in this game. Goes for the ability. We can bowler. Have it line up on all that. Very good bowler. Goes for the recruits at the bridge. I'm not sure I agree. We're gonna have to rage. Kill these as quick as we can okay no connection wait this is very winnable very very winnable minions block nice oh that's still gonna get a shot on tower though isn't it hmm okay down 400 i think the only spell he has is a zap so we do have that going for us 
I was going to say, he's going to just, just go recruit. So we want a bowler on the right for sure. Because that is our lower side tower. Um, but he's just going to Mega Knight on the left. So if I defend this, you guys have to subscribe. That's the deal here. Oh no, and Fisherman locks on his Fisherman. Wait. Uh, we can go for our second bowler here. Goblin's down low on this, this single recruit that's on tower. Okay, wait, we actually defended. Do we win here? Rage, he's probably just gonna fisherman, but it probably yeah, it's gonna lock on that other bowler, so he can't even go for it yet. We just need one, two more hit, one more hit. I think that's all we need, right? Yeah, we can just lightning. Okay, we just need to get to a rage. Oh, what? What happened on the right? <laughs> I didn't even see what happened. Jumping into the last game here against by Alexa 17, and I didn't see the exact number, but this is definitely a good player. Had a very good top finish, so. Let's dial in here. We're gonna split archers in the back. Okay, Evo Knight. It's not too bad for this deck, actually. Let's cycle our minions. That'll clean up his knight. Let's see what else he has. Um, that'll hit tower too, so we'll take that lightning. I, I, I always like to just lightning the queen out as soon as I see it, to be honest. Even if they... Sometimes they'll play it at the bridge, and I'll still just lightning it. It's only a minus one, and... Then I don't have to worry about feeding it, because with this deck, you don't really have anything to block the queen. You have the fisherman, you have the bowler, but if you play bowler into it, it's going to totally die once they pop the ability. So, My favorite thing to do is to just lightning it off the board entirely. So, Play fisherman for this. Should clean it up nice and easy. We'll cycle our archers again. A minute into the game and we're already right back to our evo archers here in a second. We can bowler. Should full counter this with the help of the archer. I don't think we're going to take any damage here. Perfect. I could go in, but he would just Mega Knight. I don't think it would do enough. I don't think it's worth it. I need to have something for the defense. We can go in opposite lane now, though. Let's go Goblins as well. Rage. I should be able to have Fisherman in time for this Mega Knight. It's going to be close, though. That's a lot of damage. Even if it jumps, I think it was worth it. Whoa, what is that? Wow. Wow. That was a really interesting uh, interaction there. I'll take it though. We're up uh, a lot of damage. I'm not trying to do math. I'll be honest. I'm <laughs> I'm done with class for the day, and I'm not trying to think. So we will take that though. We're back to our Evo Watchers, so in a good spot here. Let's go Evo Watchers in the back. Goes for his knight. I'm actually gonna bowler the bridge. Very high skill. It's going to force that quite a lot from him. And then we're going to be able to go with our Goblin Giant in front of this Evo Archer. He does kill our Evo Archer, but that's fine. Look at that bowler. Gets that big 400 shot on tower. That's going to be tower. No, not quite. Okay. Good Ram Rider from him to stop us from taking tower. That's close, though. We can pull that. Plus Archers will full kill that. We're in a great spot here. Just need to keep it up. Let's go minions. Create a little bit of pressure. Okay, Goblin Giant in the back. We can Goblin surround this. Goes for his Mega Knight. I'm gonna try and Fisherman. I wanna pull his Mega Knight off. Let's Rage as well, just do it quickly. Nice. Uh, that's a really good Lightning. Wow. Wow, his Evo Knight just blocked my Lightning, that's crazy. Okay, that's not ideal. We should only be one lightning away from winning this game, but his Evo Knight actually kind of just bailed him out entirely there. Um, let's go like this, though. And what's he going to do? I'm not sure if he can stop this. Mega Knight, but yeah, that's going to be game. Let's wait for him to block it. Let's play it safe. Okay, he goes for the queen, so that's game. There's no way he's blocking it. Good game. Anyways, shout out to you if you made it this far in the video. I really appreciate you for giving me so much of your time. You guys continue to always show support on these types of videos, and I really, really appreciate you guys for it. For those of you guys that commented challenges for me to do the other day, don't worry, I haven't forgot about them. I'm just not sure if I want to do them on stream, or if I want to do it at the beginning of the next season, because I'm definitely not going to have all those cards leveled up, and I don't want to go and throw my trophies right now, so I was thinking about saving that for either on live stream, maybe for like a grand challenge, or maybe I'll just do it at the beginning of next season, so don't worry, I'll get to those eventually. If you guys enjoyed the video, 
Make sure to leave a like and comment for the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. And with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next one.